good. How are you? Good. I'm good. Where is Patrick hiding? I have absolutely no idea. I think he just doesn't like standing in front of cameras, so <laughs> he's a bit shy. <laughs> Last time he had to like have a moment to prep himself. <laughs> yes, he was like, wait, I'm not ready. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we had Brom for Hofstad on the show, on the podcast, and we were talking about um, things that gymnasts get asked. So in the Netherlands, he said, um, if people always ask him, are you going to be the next Epke? So do little kids get asked, are you going to be the next Etora? Um, does that happen? I think it doesn't. It's, it will be, would you be the next son of Avers, I think. Um, my name is too difficult. That's one. <laughs> I think I'm always like the girl with the difficult name. So if someone would ask that, it's like, do you want to be the girl with the difficult name? I think that would be it, you know? So, but else it would be Santa Vapors. <laughs> <laughs> do kids dress up as you guys for Halloween? Halloween? Um, I don't know. It's not like really a thing at my place, but it's in different places of the Netherlands. It's more, but I really don't know. I know that like in gymnastics, like little girls te text me and they want to get their hair the same way as I do, but dress up like me, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite part of your new floor routine and what's the theme? Um, okay, first of all, the theme, there kind of isn't a theme, well maybe a theme that it's kind of dramatic, but uh, with the other routines we kind of have a story put up, but for now we kind of decided that everyone can make up their own story. Like this girl texted me, she has an incurable disease, and she texted me that she felt her story brought through my routine and felt her pain through my routine. And I thought that was so beautiful, you know, that everyone can make up their own story, uh, draw it to themselves. And I mean, I can have my own story and my own feeling, but yeah, I just like it very much when someone can make up their own story. So that's more of the theme, yeah. I feel like that's a very true artist um, yeah. description. Like, this is my art, and you get your own meaning out of it. Yeah, I think so, too. How did you like the trials? It was different this time. You guys had a series of meets leading up to this. Did it prepare you more? What do you think? Um, I think it bonded us more as a team. Uh, maybe it was a little bit long, like longer than usual. So, um, like, last week was a tough week because we thought, like, okay, we want to go, but we're still here. So um, I think it was good. It was maybe a little bit tiring, but yeah, I think all in all, just good. Okay. Yeah. And what skill are, is your favorite to do right now that you're doing here at Worlds? Oh, that's a tough one. It can be dance too. It doesn't have to be like a um, Well, I like it when I got my uh, four pirouettes combo on floor. So. Yeah, when everyone I, likes it. The screams in the arena. <laughs> today, like no one's screaming except when you hit that, everyone screams. Yeah, I like that a lot. When I hit it, I feel like, oh yeah, I did it. <laughs> so awesome. maybe that one. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we're so excited to watch you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So that the kids can. Okay, so that the kids can ask correctly how to, the, you know, or the people in the Netherlands, like, will you be the next Etora? Will you tell us how to say the name both ways? So in Dutch, it is Etora Terusteltier. And in Icelandic, it's Eithora Thorstotish. So there's a difference. Everybody memorize that at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.